So today I am at the Retro Rides Gathering 2018 in Shelsley Walsh, I think it's called, for the hill climb. It's my first time coming here, so I have no clue what to expect, except from there should be lots of burnouts, which I like. I came up in like a golf, a golf like thingy, pickup thingy, uh, and there were some skids behind, which is always nice, but yeah, I don't really know what to expect. It looks pretty good. I've been looking at some videos on YouTube and stuff, but there are some nice R32s here. Very, very nice. So I think what I'm going to do is walk to the bottom of the hill climb to try and capture some burnouts and stuff because I think that's what I'll enjoy the most but there are some, uh, some really nice whips about at the moment and I've seen, looked around like barely any rows whatsoever but I'm hoping to see some, uh, some BMW E38, it's my favourite car as they're kind of retro bit of 1994 to 2001 to kind of but hoping to see at least one or two of those hopefully but if not I'll still be happy with like E30s and stuff like that because that's what I'm into look how cool that is how cool is that this is beautiful Oh my god, there's an E30. Yay. There's so many nice BMWs here, I love it. And this is awesome. A Volvo state car of some kind, I'm not sure what, I don't want to say anything, but it's also, oh, it's a 240, that's what it is, and there's another E32, and another one, and this was at last year's event, I know, because it looks, and the engine bay is, is amazing in this, and then there are some more, more cars over there, but I want to take a look at this Mosasuku style Nissan Micra, because that's, that's cool. Look at that. That's mental. I'm not sure how it got it, because it's definitely not road legal, but gloss over that. That's super cool. And there's a Unimog style thing and a Robin Reliant, which is going up the hill climb later. Although well, I'm not sure how, but it is. Might fall over going up there though. Yeah, pretty clean S13. A Sierra Sapphire? I'm not sure with a, with a Lexus V8. I presume it's the one from the. LS400. That's pretty cool. Yeah. And then I'm not actually sure what this is. What is it? It's a Fiesta. Wow. So I didn't actually expect it to be that mental. I've been at the hill climb for like 10 minutes and there were there have been fat burnouts already. I didn't think it was that mental, but I'm definitely coming back for it next year. 100%. Totally worth getting up early and everything. What an awesome event. So now that there's a little break, I'm gonna take a look at some more cars like this Hillman Imp thing. I'm not, I'm not very good with classic cars, so do expect me to get a lot of stuff wrong, but that's really cool. Yeah. 
So this Peugeot here has two V6s in it, both running at the same time. That's mental. One here, one there. And that is mental. I think this is like a 950 horsepower one. So, so cool. Right, so now I'm off to go look at all the club stats and see what cars are here in the non the other bit and I haven't actually had a proper look but apparently there are over a thousand cars just in this car park and I want to try and get all this done in 45 minutes so I can go back and capture more burnouts seriously busy day seriously seriously busy but out of all the car shows been to this is definitely my favorite and it, it's like two and a half hours in so if you're nearby come here definitely Chaser, Chaser X100, love these, absolutely love them. So I think someone's actually had a quite bad crash because it says a car coming back down. So that's why there aren't any cars going on. This is so, so nice. E34 Estate. And I really hope it's something with a V8. That is super cool. Absolutely stunning, I love that. Look how cool that is, like an American style Vauxhall Cavalier, I think. That's awesome. It reminds me of like GTA 4, the Liberty City police cars. Now the R32, I've got a soft spot for these. Mini, 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 mini. Passat. What a baller. Definitely never ever been sideways. Oh, that's pretty cool. Pretty rare. You can never see the eight these. And there's an E36. And there's a 540i. Oh my god. Yes. <laughs> what a lad. And there's a 325. And there's a 316. This is heaven. Except I'm still on the hunt for that E38. Hope there's one today. Right, I have no clue what these Renaults are, but they are awesome. Because I'm keen on boxy cars. That's pretty cool. Some nice A86s. A true Anno there, which I prefer. Pretty nice. Oh my god, so clean. Oh. <gasps> That's amazing! Oh, sick! And it's a manual, what is it? What is it? Oh, it's debadged! Helpful! That is... Yeah. And that's got a... a I don't know what engine I is. A different engine. So this is the car that I came down in. This pickup. And that was drifting behind us, which is cool. So there's another E30 there, another E36, and an E21 or a 2002. I'm not sure, e either one. Uh, there's an E21 there. Well, what is this? It's another E21. And then, oh, there's an Audi R R S. I can't remember. Like the Audi RS. No, it's actually an Audi Coupe. 
I thought it was an estate, but it wasn't. And then there's another E36 and another another E34. Absolutely beautiful. And there's oh, there's another e, there's an E21 down here. There's a five series over there. There's all sorts. I'm heaven right now. The amount of BMWs here, amazing. Oh my god, they made a 732. What's this sorcery? That's amazing. I was, I'm surprised to see an older 7 series. Oh, what was that? That was amazing. Jesus. It definitely sounds like a BMW engine. Definitely, it sounds like... Not sure what it sounds like, a straight piped M50. I'm not sure. But you know, that's, that's awesome. So as much as I like E36s, just this one in specific. Oh my God. Amazing Jay's X100. I've seen this one numerous times before when it was white. But it sounds amazing. It sounds like something screaming inside. Like when he revs it, it's amazing. One awesome car. It used to be white, but now it's white body. It's so so cool. Decent R32 here. I think it's a GTST. I think. It doesn't look like a GTR. Not quite. And there's a 323 there. And. A Panda 4x4 and another E30. I think I think I'd be better off doing the video just for everything non BMW because I'd be able to make a long video on just BMWs like that one and that one. So I don't actually know how big this car park is, but it goes all the way over there somewhere. R34. And a pulsar in a, a really nice. Oh, I almost fell over. Oops, oh well. And that colour is just amazing. Well, I quite like that. This is really tidy, yeah? it's just been put right at the back, not on. As goes with this uh, uh, E30 with some rear camber and some shiny wheels. Left hand drive, this one. Another 8 series and this beautiful NSXR. It's rare you get to see see these, but what an amazing car that is. This yellow colour is so nice as well. Absolute stunning car. Nice R34 GTR. Some pretty nice gold rims. This here is an awesome 6 series that goes to Queen Square quite often but no one really, like, over there I don't really take enough notes of the cars but that is just mental so so cool so like metal seats and what, well, no boot lid weight reduction yo and some more weight reduction awesome machine Right, I don't think I've recorded this one yet, but this is my favourite E30 here. It's just, the colour just works so well. Like, well, it's not like one of the more powerful ones, I don't think. I might be wrong. But it just looks all, like amazing. So this is the car that I blew its tyre, and as you can see, well, it's got a new one, but there's tyre everywhere. And it's given me a little tattoo, which is cool. Like, out of all the cars here, you'd never expect this to do the best burnout of them all. So cool. Well, this is nice. Never really see these that often anymore. 
Although in Bristol there are like loads for some reason. But you never see Carlton's. Pretty nice site and they're so expensive now too. This has definitely never been sideways either as you can tell. Amazing condition. Oh, I'm sure acceleration. I hope this is a V8 as well. So uh, this, this, yeah, that's cool. This car fits these wheels so nicely. Right, so I am now about to head home. It has been an awesome, awesome day, and. I've, I'm gonna have so much to edit about, I'm looking forward to it. But for a first time, I am amazed. That it's such an awesome, awesome event. And it's for free, well, for me at least. So I'll see you guys in the next video.